Bye. Hello. Hello, Joel. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, hello everyone. So now we need to open our beautiful box and to see what is inside. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. So, oh, yeah, we have our tutorial book. Uh, yep, yeah, our books. That's got all your yeah. steps, your mm -hmm. step by step. Step so by it, step, step one, step, step two. two. <laughs> Until we're going to finish. That's step so, eight, yeah. yeah. So it's the eighth step <laughs> in that book. And this side, we have uh, our brush three different brush, small one, small one and big one, and the medium size. Yeah. So yeah, we have uh, four primer color, mm -hmm. white, red, blue, yellow, and two auxiliary color, and rose and humble. Humble yeah. is a dark, dark brown. So yeah. Fantastic. Okay, and uh, the big part of our material, yeah, forgot before big <laughs> one, we have our apron. apron, yeah, so you need to put your apron on, like me. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you get paint on your shirts, it is quite difficult to wash out, so please, yes. everyone, use your aprons, yes. uh, let's not mess up our nice clothing today like joel's nice white shirt yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then we put our canvas if you take it out and open it nicely and put it on your easel if you have an easel this side oops and let go Guys, please remember that we try to be eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. So use your box as a palette to make sure paint's on. Mm -hmm. um, you can use your tissue paper, just make sure you have something underneath it. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, guys, use your, use your boxes to make sure color's on and then shack it away when you're Yay. finished. All okay. right, Joel. All right. So what are we starting with today? Yeah, the first thing, before we start, we need to put all our color in our pass palette. On your palettes? Okay. Mm -hmm. When I use all those colors, take a few of you, put on the palette. Don't forget to have red. And you wash your brush. Guys, please also remember, Joel is from the Congo and he speaks French. So if at any time you are struggling to understand him or anything, guys, please shout out, let us know, talk to Joel, don't be shy. We're all here to learn and work together. Yeah, well. <laughs> Step one. We're done. Okay, so we've got our. Always when you put your colors, mm -hmm. you need to wash your brush. Ah. And especially blue. Blue. Please put your colors around to the palette, not inside, because we're going to do the mix at the inside. Yeah. We're going to start to mix inside here. Yeah. So we're putting all six of our colors out, Joel? Yes, all. All of them, all right. There you go.
white. Aha, uh -huh. now you see, I didn't clean my brush properly. <laughs> now I have blue in my white. <laughs> yeah. You need to clean your brush properly. Whoops. Are you done? Yeah. Guys, has everyone got their paints on their palettes? How about giving us a thumbs up if we're ready? Ready. <laughs> ready. Fantastic. Fantastic. Take us away, Joel. So, yeah. Let's see our tutorial. Mm -hmm. Step number one. So, step number one asks us to put uh, starting with yellow white and orange so what and a little bit blue mm -hmm. light blue yeah okay so what color are we making first what well, the first color you're gonna put on your canvas is a white white yes put white i want to remind you guys here yeah, we do impressionism impressionism is a part of uh, abstract from my question means we get abstract, abstract art. So yeah, don't be scared with your colors. So you need to be, when you apply your colors, don't be scared with them ever. So we're just putting on a big dollop of white yeah. and a little bit of yellow. Put your white color in the medium. In the middle. In the middle. All righty. And the blue, just a little bit blue, not a lot. You see, I take a little bit. So put it on top. Wash properly, you know? brush. <laughs> Always, you need to use a big brush. Are you ready, guys? We can go to the second stage. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Always, always your brush must be wet. Mm. Yeah. You wet your brush before you starting to mix your color. And take yellow and white. Go left and right. See, give you a nice yellow. See this yellow is a light yellow. No impression is you need to do the effect of traps. See, don't blend, blend nicely. So we don't blend too much. We just kind of keep it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We need those effects of brush. Oh, the brush traps. Yeah, the mm. brush traps. Uh -huh. You see. And uh, the second one, we starting to mix that white. Yeah. That white and uh, blue on top. Mm. You're gonna get a light blue. You see. When you do, when you apply your colors, try to give that effect of a sky. Mm? You're starting already to draw. You see the way I go? I give a form. You see, like a sky is already on top. Mm? 
So we're allowed to mix the blue into the yellow. Mix the yellow, yeah. We're gonna get the gray. Don't kill all the yellow. We're gonna mix it in only in the middle. Only in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. So yeah, like that. And from here, clean your brush. If you do it, you finish, you clean your brush nicely, quickly. And uh, we go back to the palette to make another mix up. Red and yellow. Mix your red and yellow. You must put a little bit red and too much yellow to get a light orange. And this orange, you're gonna mix this side. You take a little bit white colors and you apply it here and down. Everything you're gonna do for now, you need to mix with white. And your brush always must be white. Wet your brush, much water, and blend it. Wet your brush, blend again. This side, if you saw something like this, this line, you need to kill this line. What how to kill the line? You wash your brush. Take a little bit yellow and white. And you come in here by the light, the line, those lines, you blend. You do a mix up. You see now it looks nice. It look nice. You see those mix up of that background we do. The backgrounds look nice. You do it again, you, you put your, always your brush must be wet. Yellow and blend again. Yellow and orange mix up nicely. No line. So we don't want that line. We want it all kind of yeah. mixed together. Yeah, all right. You see my background, the way it's looking. I like your background. Thank you. Mine doesn't look like yours, but I think it looks kind of good. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Everyone's done. How's everyone doing? You want to give us a show of your paintings? Ellen, can you show me your? Who we got there? I can't see. Haley. Let's see how our backgrounds are looking. Very okay. nice. Yeah, this. Oh, Elena, it's perfect. Wow, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, almost. So, guys, please try to kill this line. This this line between the uh, sky and the uh, and the land. You see here. Yeah. We're going to draw from here. Your internet connection. We're going to draw something here. So this line, yes, orange down, meaning the, the land, and the top, the sky. So make it nicely, blend it nicely here. And uh, yeah. Step number one. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, is everyone ready to continue? Do step number two. Before we start, step number two, just in mm. case anyone needs a little bit more time, why don't you tell me a little bit about where you're from? I'm from Congo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Born in Congo. Yeah. <laughs> you're born in the Congo. Yeah, and how long have you Congo, been in Kinshasa. In Kinshasa. In Kinshasa, in, Congo. in the capital of Congo, is DRC. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you been in South Africa? Over seven years now. Seven years? Yes. Nice. Seven years here in South Africa. Yeah. And your family, are they still back in the Congo? Are they here? In, yeah, I have uh, two sisters here mm -hmm. in South Africa with me. Two young sisters, I'm a firstborn. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're ready to move on to step two. I think we are. If anyone isn't, just let us know. Thumbs up if everyone's ready. Looks like everyone's ready. Fantastic. Perfect. Stop. Step number two. Now we need to use the amber, the band amber, our but before everything, you need to put your brush in the water. The brush must be wet. And you take the lake bit numbers and sides, you mix up in your, it must be not very, very strong. Like this one, you need to mix with yellow. The first one you're gonna mix with yellow to make it light because we don't need to be, we don't want this color to be very dark. Do we uh, use a lot of yellow or just a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, so when you put yellow, it changes the color, but we need to get that light brown. But now let's try with, yeah. You, you add yellow and you add a little bit this one's not. Do you mix it already? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you see mine, guys. Mine's light. Eh? Please try to, to do the same thing. Br okay, mine is brown, too dark. yellow, and liquid, liquid yellow, and liquid red. So it's going to give you a light brown. And another thing, your brush must be wet. Always put your brush in the water. And don't mix here. Just change this, the sides to get it. Yeah. If you saw inside on your palette, this, the place you mix it is too dark. You can go on the corner mm -hmm. and try to make it. So ah. I'm talking about you, there, so <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> you try to make to, to get that light one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah. So does everyone have their light brown? What do we do with our light brown now, Joel? Mm, with the light brown, we're going to start to draw with. Okay. To do a sketch. In French, calling a bosch. Hmm. You see. So does the bosch is going to give us an idea mm -hmm. of what we're going to do now. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's ready? Yep. Can we get a thumbs up if everyone's ready to go to the next step? Perfect. Great, we are ready. Okay. Ready. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, let go. First, put your brush in the water and go back to those colors you mix up. Mm. And starting to draw what you see in your tutorial papers, tutorial book. Mm -hmm. So step deep two, we need to make a line. So these lines depend this side by you, where you stopping your red, where your, your, your red color is starting mm -hmm. because what, sorry, the orange, orange. color is starting. Uh, so from this orange down, the meaning is the length, show ah. us the length. And yellow, between yellow and yellow and orange, yeah, 
yellow is a medium mm -hmm. of the sky. The sky oh, is so as the sun sets, is like the sunset. yellow is the middle of the sky, the blue yes. is the top, yes. and the orange the is our land. Cool. Ah. So, this, this side, guys, you know where you do your, your orange was starting, so you are starting to draw from this side. What you're going to do? You do face. You see me? I do my. Mountains. Not, not the mountain, the tree face. Ah. The tree is going to give us a perspective of the mountain. Okay. Do your tree. And from the tree, you know where the tree is stopping. So the tree is starting between blue and orange. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. So our tree goes between the top of our tree, our little leaves are going between the blue and the yellow kind and the of the yellow and this. Yeah. And then our tree trunk is going down, down into the orange. Into orange. All right. And do we have to worry if our tree is not very pretty right now? Are we going to don't worry about now? Because those trees just is beginning of the tree. Just we, the beginning. So we're gonna yeah. go over this tree we're and make it all, more okay. make it more nice. Because I didn't want when you apply your color, you apply the dark color mm. face. No, the good dark is gonna come late just for the details. Okay, yeah. so we're just putting down our base yeah. color and then we always to your in. brush must be wet when you draw. See, when more, more, more the brush is wet, more it's gonna give a nice effect in your artwork. And if you're gonna see in the medium of the tree, so you can draw your mountain. The first mountain is coming in. See my first mountain between. So, yeah. So on the bottom where our orange is, like on the top of our orange, we're going to paint the Our kind of skyline kind of, with yeah, the mountains. The mountains. Yeah. Alrighty. And do we have to make the mountains? So we're doing how many mountains? How many? The mountains. I just follow the pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we kind of got one in the middle, and then the mm -hmm. bigger one off to the side on the mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember if you have any questions or you're confused or you need Joel's help, <laughs> which I normally do, um, please feel free to give us a shout. Tell us, say, Joel, help me. Mm -hmm. How's everyone's trees and mountains looking? We got little brown blobs everywhere, or are they kind of looking mountainy? Mm -hmm. How far are you guys? Almost. Can I see the draw? Yeah, guys, if you want to show Joe your painting. Yeah. Oh, it's looking lovely. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. It's coming. Yeah, perfect. Hayley, how are we doing? Coming together? <laughs> Is anything specific that you're struggling with? Feel free to just ask. The same color and you change the brush. Use a small brush now. Okay. The medium one, not the smaller one, the medium one. Mm. And from this one, we're going to draw now our giraffe. Now, guys, I have done this painting with Joel before. 
And I just want to tell you, don't stress about your giraffe because he is going to take you back and you are going to fill it in with more detail. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people panic when they have to draw people or animals, but giraffe is actually super simple. Even I can do it. So nobody panic. This is going to be great. All right, Joel. So... Hi, everyone. I think we've just lost Joel. Um, we're going to get him back online. We're back up. We've got Joel. All right. Okay, guys. Um, Joel, start us off again. How are we doing our giraffe? What color are we using? What brush? The color we're gonna use here, only brown, dark brown, and we're gonna mix that dark brown with yellow. Mm -hmm. yellow. Just before we go, I just wanna confirm, can everyone see the screen? Can everyone see Joel? Can Great. we see his painting? Okay, perfect. Lovely. Perfect. Let's continue. Let's go. Let's go. Same color, make it. And another details, I saw it here in my. Yeah. Don't exaggerate your colors here. Don't make the line between the mountain and the another mm. line down. So okay. Yeah, you must blend it. Yeah, you saw mine. It's blended. Yeah. Blended. Right. Ah. So the first one we're gonna those one first one if if, if first uh, yeah blend everything and we're going to draw our giraffe. The giraffe, the size of giraffe is depend also of your brush and your tree. You see, because the giraffe's gonna start around here. So see here. Okay. It's like a bit far. To so eat. we're starting it is the bottom of our giraffe is going to be the, the same as the bottom of our tree. tree. Yeah. And on top. See? And so the size of giraffe, if I measure here by mine, is a. So about a third of the length of your brush. That's yeah. how tall your giraffe's going to yeah. be. Yeah. Still. Cool, guys. So. So one third of the length of your brush, that's how tall we're mm -hmm. going to make our giraffe. Yes. Let go. So, to our giraffe. So, for everyone who's panicking how to draw a giraffe, what Joel told me last time, because I am terrible at art, is to start with a small oval for the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we went all the way down. We took the long neck down. The long neck down. And then what, what did we do from there, Joel? And from those one length, long leg down and do a second length mm -hmm. down, but in the medium of a in the middle of the neck. In the neck of the okay. giraffe. Okay. So from and the middle of the go, neck, we're going to do go a in. second one. You see, like mine, yeah? Mm -hmm. you see this one, I'll show you guys. A second one. And from this side, don't go down, down, because this is giraffe also have a stomach. Ah. So you need to stop around the inside there. Just follow the sketches there in your tutorial book. So we're going to go. Always your brush must be wet. Because I don't want to be, yeah. I don't want your your sketch must be light, like dark. No, try try this side to make your sketch must be lighting. So we want it to be dark. light. So we always want to dilute our paint. Dilute our paint. Ready? Yeah. With water, you need to dilute. The first step, you need to dilute everything you do. Everything. Mm -hmm. So we've got our oval head. Mm -hmm. And we're taking our long neck down. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do like an oval for the stomach. Is that good? Like for the body? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not very good. So I'm going to just kind yeah, of make very it. Very well fed giraffe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good. Don't forget this is another line here between the neck, in the ah. middle of the neck. Yeah. Yeah, boy. See. So can you tell us one more time, Joel, mm. how we're gonna make our giraffe? Can you show everyone? Mm -hmm. So let me do it again. This paper. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this giraffe quick quick. The first thing is this one. Do something like this. And you come down. When you come down, you come here in the middle of the neck of giraffe. You do another one, this another line, but use the size of the medium of this brush, mm -hmm. the medium brush. You go down again. And from this side, you can see now we can go for the stomach. And the stomach is starting here. Hold the line. Now we're gonna do something like cubism. You just use the line. And you see here. And from here, you're gonna see now this is the stomach of the giraffe. So the line you are starting from the neck on top to the head to down, you can go straight down, but a small one, not a big one. And tell out your paint, you come back again, you do another line. This one is a, another, and this one you're going another direction to giraffe. And you make another legs of giraffe. Now you get two legs. And from here, you know, in front of the giraffe, there's something there. It looks good, yeah. And from here, do another leg, giraffe. We go, see it go. This is a sketch of giraffe. From this sketch, we're gonna make it nice. See, yeah. Try to get this sketch on your canvas. And from this one, we're gonna start to make it nice. Don't worry, how it's looking now. Because we do impressionism. Impressionism, we're gonna impression everything. Be careful. The head of giraffe doesn't be bigger than bodies. If the head <laughs> is big. <laughs> Joel's talking about mine. I've given my giraffe a very, very big head. Uh, the big head, so <laughs> the, the head is gonna be heavy. And <laughs> he's gonna have a very sore neck. He's gonna start to follow down. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Yeah. But don't worry if you make a big head, we're gonna correct this. <laughs> I will, I will show you guys how to correct. Let me make it big here on this one. And to <coughs> correct it, what you're gonna do, you take a color as is bien, like I saw there by her. Uh, behind, the, behind the head is the yellow. Just take yellow and white. You mix up, you make, you make a light white and you can come the closest. Okay, so we take the color that's behind the giraffe. Yeah, behind the giraffe and make it uh, nice. And just cover up our yeah, little oopsies. <laughs> all those, yeah. Anyway, make it smaller. All right, so no big headed giraffes. Oops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the way it's coming small. Very fast. Guys, in case anyone is wondering how not to do a giraffe, that is mine. <laughs> See? <laughs> so I'm sure everyone's is looking better <laughs> because... <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> it's better on. 
It's looking great, Elena. Guys, how's our giraffes looking? Does anyone want to give us a show? Show us what you're working <laughs> Wow, this one's good. Elena. Yeah, I know also. Oh, my yeah, word. this is good. I like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like it. Everyone has done a much better giraffe than me. Mine looks yeah, like a so guys, your, 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 your giraffe is too very nice, more than mine. <laughs> yeah, they try my best also to make mine also beautiful. Yeah, quick, quick. Yeah. Oh. Fantastic, guys. So, show of thumbs, everyone. How are we doing? Are we okay? Are we? Feeling a bit better. So step four, when we're done to draw the giraffe and we're gonna go to step four, don't make it dark now. We're gonna make that. But this dark, we don't need to use black colors. You see, we're gonna use colors to make it your, your, your artwork must be colorful. Mm -hmm. From the colors, you give birth to the shape. Okay. Yeah. So, the same color we use to draw giraffe and, uh, and our background, the mountain. And we're gonna go for those colors to draw, uh, to make those land, yeah. Make a land, step four, you can see in the picture, step four, how it look. We draw those stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're adding more detail to our adding land. More we're adding some to see our right. future world. Now is a monochrome. We only use one colors to draw. And later on, we're gonna come again, make it beautiful. No worry, guys. Don't be scared. Yeah, boy. Just go now. When you do, when when you give that, when you apply your brush, try to apply every right, mm -hmm. right, left, up, down. You see, to give is impressionism. Impressionism is your 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 brush must draw for you. Don't control your hand when you do that stuff. You see, and yourself you're gonna see the try to create a nice effect with your brush. Always your brush must be wet. If it's wet, you're gonna see those effects is gonna be down there. When you like this effect, we're gonna leave it as the effect and we're gonna go for another stuff. You're gonna see how we're going, how, how it's gonna look like when you finish. Step four is done. So Joel, well, well, everyone is finished filling in their land and putting in some shadows. Mm -hmm. Tell us if we wanted to see some of your work as an up and coming artist, where would we, where would we look? I have exhibition on first days is coming. So I will exhibit my work on 113 Loop Street. So you are exhibiting your work on first Thursday? First Thursday. This first Thursday? This first Thursday. Uh, 113 on Loop. On that loop. is the Cartel Gallery, isn't it? Yeah, Cartel Gallery. Cartel Gallery, fantastic. Yeah. On the third floor. On the third floor, fantastic. Yeah. Um, and what else is happening there? We've got you know, if people come over and look at your work, are there drinks? Yeah, on the fourth floor, there's a something like there's a bar in the French pastry, pastry, mm -hmm. pastry. So yeah, there's a many events inside. Oh, so, so there's a whole lot of events. Yeah, we have a bar. Yeah. Oh. Inside, so you want to enjoy yourself from the first taste. Yeah. Well, I do love French pastries, and I love a bar, and I love a good mm -hmm. artwork. So you will definitely see me there. Yes. So yeah, guys, if you're interested in Joel's work, if you want to see what else he's done, 
Um, if you've been following on our Instagram and Facebook channels, we've been posting a lot of his work um, and telling you a bit about him. He really is phenomenal. He catches such beauty in Africa. Mm -hmm. So go and check him out this Thursday. This Thursday on Rock Street. Now we go into this foot. Yeah, the fifth, the fifth step. So we need to. We're gonna start to do the reflect of sky on the land, because all the colors we put it in the background need to be reflect on the body of everything we do here. The day we're gonna do a portrait. So it's going to be more detailed this time mm. in the portrait. Yeah, we just try to give that, uh, show you guys that thing I'm talking about. But we're going to mix our color, uh, mix a blue and white to get a light, a light, a light blue. Okay. Mm. A light. Sky blue. You see now in summertime outside how the sky looking so get that sky <laughs> that colors sky blue there we go yeah. perfect summer mm -hmm. weather color love that and with that sky blue what we're gonna do with Always your brush must be wet eh? when you do your mix of your color. When I say wait, wait, too much. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. <laughs> we always use this effect. You see mine is very wet. It's not even big here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because more is wet, more is going to give you a nice effect. Okay. Effect. We're looking for that. Impressionism is always a user effect. We don't need to draw. The color is going to give that effect and it's going to look beautiful. Okay, yeah. so guys, dilute your paint, keep your brushes wet. Wait. And let's get some impressionism going. Yes, impressionism. <laughs> and let go. Everyone's ready? Perfect. So, I want to ask one question. Mm -hmm. Why, where from that name of uh, uh, one when calling up there by Parkless Blue Blueback? Blueback? Where? Yeah, why calling Blueback? Blueback. Oh, Blueback. Blueback. So, blow. Oh gosh, guys, correct me if I'm wrong here, but blow means. Blue, so it literally means blue mountain, doesn't it? Berg is mountain. Oh, okay. Blue, blue mountain. mountain. That's right. Because when so. you there by parklands, you look here and table mountains <laughs> look blue. This one calling blue bay. <laughs> so we're gonna try to do the same thing. Ah. Everything is far, it's taking that color. Okay. It's blue. So the, the atmosphere mm -hmm. give a reflect. Oh, so we're gonna give a reflect of the blue of the from blue the sky. On the sky, on our mountain, it's far. So it's gonna show our mountain is a little bit far. Okay. Yeah, this one we mix that blue. The blue is here, is here in our work. It's there in the background. So the blue, the reflect of blue is gonna come down. Now. Okay. Jump the yellow and come in here. Right. So many we're gonna start to do the reflect. This one, I, I want you guys, your brush must be wet. This blue mustn't be strong. You see, you can do a mix up and you go wash your brush. You see, when you brush, you wash your brush, this color is left in your brush. This this one we need to do here. It's not gonna be very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one, you see the way I put it. You just do the reflect of that blue on top. You can use your hand also to blend nicely just to keep the line, blend the corner. And meaning those, those mountains, it's a little bit far. It's far. 
if you saw the the corner is too still strong use your hand to blend it don't be scared because you need to create something nice i know you guys are gonna do better than me <laughs> because i take my time to talking here <laughs> yeah okay those blue is not gonna it's not gonna be just limited there in, in the bag it's gonna come also in the tree the effect the top of the tree because the atmosphere is up on top you see the effect house coming wow. the day we're gonna do a portrait you're gonna see what they're talking about because yeah you can do it but it's not very very and we come down here the reflect also is going to touch a little bit blue here and the tree and if in the land down that those place was put it there to try to put your try to put the shape So we do the step five. Always when you use your brush, you must make it nice. So if anyone has skipped or had to do a quick bathroom break and you're a little bit confused what we are doing, we mm -hmm. are putting blue reflections from our sky down onto our trees on our hilltops, our mountain tops, and on the ground. So we are just adding some stunning colors. It really is looking incredible. So while everyone catches up, Joel, so mm -hmm. you've got a degree in, a, in fine arts and you got that in, in the Congo. And I would, I'm really interested to hear more about your father as an artist and how you followed in his footsteps. So what did, what did you paint and did you guys ever collaborate and paint anything together? Tell us more about that. Don't worry about the giraffe now. This red face is gonna, it's not gonna touch a giraffe now. Mm. The giraffe we're gonna, you, we're gonna work on, on him, not now. Please, when you apply your colors, I repeat again, go up and down, play with your brush. When you do it, you see the way I do chip, 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 chip. You can use a brush like that, hold your brush like that. You play. And after blue, then can I see? And then it's looking great. Fantastic, guys. Okay, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Sound wasn't coming through um, to your side, and I, I actually had a question for you that you might have mm -hmm. missed. Um, so you've got a degree in fine arts, and you started painting with your father. And I'd just like to you know learn more about you know what you collaborated with him to paint. You know, tell us more about your artistic abilities with your dad, who's also an artist. What did you used to paint with your dad? Because your dad is an artist as well. Did you used to do stuff together? Did you work on paintings together? What my, did you? My dad is a sculptor. Yes, he's an artist, but he does sculptures. Ah, sculptures. Sculptures. All right. Yeah. It's not the artist paint, but the ah. painter like that. Okay, so you're the painter in the family and he's the sculptor. Yes, he's a sculptor. Okay. And now we're going to go for pink, because we have our pink here. Rose, that's rose color. Uh. Sounds very nice with your French accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So, uh, I like this rose. You just take a little bit of uh, rose and you add just a little bit red. You're gonna see that rose is gonna come light and you mix with white. Eh? You see those one, I make it here in the corner. It's light rose. So it's look beautiful. Yeah. So from this rose, and we're gonna, yeah. Yeah, I saw someone here do it quick. <laughs> yeah, so from this rose, and we're gonna start to do the reflect and everything in our work. So you said that we're going to put the blue for mm -hmm. the reflection of the sky. Mm -hmm. So what is this pink reflecting? Why are we putting the pink? Because pink is coming because there's a red in, in the world. Okay. Because before we make that yellow, that orange, mm -hmm. we mix yellow and red. red. Ah. You see. So and, we're bringing out the red of the bring, pink. Yeah, bring out the red of the pink. Cool. You see. And those pink, just gonna, we're not gonna apply it in pink a lot. Mm -hmm. Everyone know. But when you see the sun, when the sun sets, the sun sets, mm -hmm. there's pink also inside. But yeah. you can't see it only when you take the pictures. You're gonna see all those stuff. Uh -huh. So here we do the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> This one, and that pink, please, guys, your brush must be wet, wet, very wet, because we don't need to apply it in a very strong pink here. And you're gonna start to draw the skies with. Look here, see what I can do here. You're gonna follow me, please. Follow what I want to do now. See, I draw the sky. Oh, so we're doing the outline of clouds. Yeah, outline of the cloud. From the outside, guys, from the outside corner in your blue mm -hmm. sky, we're going to bring in a pink cloud. Yes. Little cotton candy clouds. Like, yeah, we ain't got something, we just follow the sky, the cloud, how the cloud is. Just we put this cloud. If you apply it nice, you're gonna see what is gonna look nice, beautiful, more colors, colorful, and those harmony of the color because we are looking for the harmony. I just teach you guys the harmony, the same method you're gonna use here. The same method you use to do those uh, background, the same method can create your own abstract artwork at all. Because you know how to play with your color. The harmony of the colors is very, very important in the, any work. It can be contemporary work, can be art model, modern work, uh, mm -hmm. modern art, yeah. or classic art. But the, you, need, you must know how to play with your colors. Those combination, the combo of the color you must know about. Mm. Always try to blend the line. Blend it nicely. You see mine, there's no line here. You can't see this line. Yeah, it's blend, mix up nicely. This one I put too much water. And that's on my color here. Yeah. It's too much water, so it's killing that thing. If you saw you one, there's a line there side try to wait your brush and come down there, blend it, or use your finger to blend it. Down. See. And this reflex is not gonna be limited on your top. It's coming also on the mountain, but in the mountain not everywhere, and that blue we put it. But not everywhere, just Try to see your work where you can put it again. You see, but it's better to put it on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. On top because there's a light, light, light colors there on top, like a yellow, uh, light blue. Mm -hmm. You see, 
all those lights and when you add this one on top you're gonna see it's looking nice okay so we're adding the pink to yeah the pink for now we can stop for the pink and we're gonna come back for the pink later on it's gonna come for the details okay mm. Yeah, don't, don't be scared to blend with your hand. And now we go back to our amber. Uh, is everyone yeah. finished with their pink clouds? Mm -hmm. The pink clouds, yeah, hopefully. I can see only two, one, two people and the level. All right, guys, let us know if we're moving too fast or if you yeah. have any questions for Joel, remember he's here to talk to you, to help you, whatever you need. Okay, well, if no one is, is having any problems, then um, should we move on to the next step? Yep. Next step. Looks like everyone's ready. Let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We go to our next next step. Next step is we need to redraw everything. If your work is already dark, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so mine now... is lighting. You can see my trees doesn't show properly. Mm. So what I want to do, I want to try to shade my tree from those ebos. This okay. first step. I do. So basically, we're going to go over all of our details and mm. make it darker, give it some detail, give yeah. it some shading. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, we take a, we're going to take that ambo. But the ember is the way it is like that. If we apply this ember like that, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna look black. We don't need our color look black. You see, and we're gonna mix this black with red, just to give a like a rich try, color, a ah. rich color to make it to make ambiance. Ambience. Uh -huh. Ambience. Ambience, that's yeah. good. In this color, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> English. <laughs> yeah, it is. But you see mine? Yeah. So that red is coming, making like a dark purple. Mm -hmm. And you redraw. You see, just follow the pictures. And like me, I follow the pictures here. My teacher. See the pictures, you follow the pictures with the dark, yeah. And don't kill your blue. Don't kill those blue, you put it already. Always your brush must be wet. Brush must be red. Don't, don't paint or talk to those blue reflects you make it before. So we mustn't paint on top of our blue. Yeah, we mustn't paint on top of those blue. And from that side, you take a small brush, the smaller one. To do to do a nice sketch of your tree, the branch of the tree. See those branch, nice. Yeah. I saw those. Another people you already do it. If you do it proper, don't 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 worry about. It. Yeah, bro. 
the brush tree. Beautiful. Make it beautiful work. Your brush tree, yeah. See my brush tree, my tree is coming now, it's taking 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 shape. Taking shape, yeah. It's coming. Yeah, I hope everyone is having an easier time with this <laughs> than mm -hmm. I am. Mine's looking a little bit splodgy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see the way I apply my my brush. Hmm? Touching the tree, you need to give that uh, form of the plant. Ah, so give it some texture. The and... Textures, not just no, don't don't just like no, put the brush. Yeah, not like that also. Not like that. Eh? <laughs> no, you make it. Ah, uh, like strokes. Yeah, strokes, yeah. Try to make it nice. People can look and say, oh, this was a nice tree, huh? You see, try everything to do with your brush, like, you must be connect with your brush. Always take your brown color, leave it for red inside, and you come back, play with, your tree. You can see my tree now, it looks nice. I didn't, I didn't apply that, that colors everywhere. I leave those color under. It gives to me those, uh, the lighting mm. from the back. Okay. So you can see the tree, all the tree have a lighting. So now that lighting from the sky, from the background, mm. is reflecting in front. See, it works, look nice when it's like that. So we're not coloring in a whole tree, we're just mm -hmm. doing some parts and then mm -hmm. when you draw your tree, you know you you are there, you can see how your tree look. So try your best to make it nice. It must look nice. And you follow the method painting. And now we finish with the tree. When you finish to draw your tree, you see my tree now is look perfect. You can see this, huh? my tree is perfect. Because I was starting to draw this tree with a light colors. You see, I didn't use a dark color first. That's when I told you guys, any work you're gonna do, don't use dark first. Starting lighter and finish to that. Especially if you use acrylic paint, you see, but if you use quail paint, you can start with that and gonna jump on white, uh, light it. Mm. So now, what I'm gonna do now, the same thing I do on my tree, I'm gonna start to do on my, sh I'm gonna shape it my lane now. So I'm gonna see where I can shape my lane. Always you need to check the pictures. You see where we, we shape the leg. Say, so, okay, there's a shaping somewhere here. Yeah. Now we have a step, step, uh, step seven. Don't shape everything. Don't kill the effect you do it before. You see, you can see my, my pictures. There's a, those one under still there but you just make it nicely. Like, yeah, I want to draw this. I just coming over, but I didn't kill everything. I saw my, my labor here killing everything. I don't understand. 
So we're not going over everything. We're just giving yeah. a little bit of detail. A little bit and of detail. And a little bit of shadow. Little of shadow. You see now. Our... You see this one. I leave this one. The, and you see here in front of the giraffe. You can see what I do here. It's very perfect. When you see look this, uh, the pictures look nice. Don't be scared. Use a small, a small brush to do those, to draw those stuff. guys see my everything is good yeah do a small small stone <laughs> you can see here in the corner it's look like a stone yeah I do it from now, so it's a small stone. Here's the seven, but this is a little bit stone in seven. <laughs> yeah. And about the mountain, because I saw my so someone already jumping. <laughs> Very <laughs> Sorry, fast. Sorry, I wasn't paying yes, attention. I started on the mountain. When we go this side by the mountain, so under the mountain, between the land and the up, yeah, we go. Don't put everywhere that. Just make it with cadence. See, work with cadence nicely. Nicely. So this cadence is a nice cadence. See my mountain now. It's looking nice. You can see oh there's only not one mountain. You try like you do another mountain under the uh, under the first one. Ah see so it's give but it's the shading of the big mountain. Because on top the blue is just repeating and under the shading. Do the shading very nicely. The shading. Go shade and then I'm shading. Go to the chart. Jet is going to be our last, last element to touch. So with the bottom of our mountains, do we want to kind of blend it in? Yeah, we need to blend it. Everything we need to blend. We don't want the line, the, the straight line down there. Mm. All your line must do it with colors. You see, you play with colors. This one, you, you can see mine. I go twin, twin, twin. Let, let's show you guys here the way I do my stuff. You see in the white thing, you can see proper. See the way I do it. Something like that. Play with your brush. Your brush must be weight. 
And when, when, when your body is wet, you're gonna give that effect. You're gonna get that effect. So when it's dry, it gives you a nice effect. So you just wanna come on top to not to redo everything, just to do the details. Mm. So it give you opportunity to do the details on your shape in your body, in your work. This impression is, don't be fast to do the details. Take your time, slowly, slowly. You're gonna see the details, the artwork gonna, gonna give you opportunity, it's gonna give you an option to do your details. You see, you don't run, don't rush. For those one is already, for those people already make a, a do the giraffe, you're not gonna do it again. Just wait for another step and you're gonna go for it because we need now those one that their, their giraffe look like mine. It's not dark, dark, mm. it's light. So can work with me, can follow me now. What we're gonna do, the same thing we do with a mountain, and the same thing we're gonna do with our giraffe. You're gonna redo your giraffe. But if uh, that colors, the giraffe is not gonna be dark, dark also. Mm -hmm. When you, you do that second drawing, let's make sure the second drawing must be good, good, good. So the second drawing, bring it details. Mm -hmm. you see my giraffe change now. Doyle is laughing at my giraffe in case anyone is wondering because it looks like a very odd shaped camel slash donkey thing. You're supposed to draw the giraffe, but you do that anyway. I am not very good at doing that. You draw the king? The antelope. The antelope? <laughs> Giraffe look like antelope. It's not giraffe. Oh no! Oh, yeah. guys, I hope yours looks better. Mine looks like an antelope. Yeah, Anna is the. I saw her there for Anna also. It's nice. And yeah, they also make it nice. Yeah. Make sure. Yeah. How far, guys, we can go to the second, the, the eighth one. And I see you all, and we can jump. Come on, guys, show. Yeah, perfect, perfect. This one for Elena. Yeah, Elena, now we need to go for the details. Yeah, those details will make it pretty full. Elena and Anna, yeah, Anna also I saw. No, no, no. Oh, my name is, yo, perfect. Oh. Ale, please, Ale, show me again. Okay, yeah, now I know. Yeah, I saw everything, so yeah, perfect. My is also perfect. Yeah, cool. Hmm. My is do a blue bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice bro back my list. <laughs> my list. Yeah, I like you bro back. <laughs> so now we're gonna go, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do, we're gonna do our sun called the sunset. So where's the sun? Where are we gonna put it? So I saw the last step, there's a sun there. So on the sun, what we're gonna do? Because I saw most of the work guys you do is too dark. Yeah. You see, when it's too dark, you need to bring some lighting in there in your work to make it beautiful. So the lighting, we're gonna use those colors to make it lighting, white and yellow. Don't put only the pure white. No, your white always must be mixed with yellow. It can be light with yellow. Light and yellow, like white, but it must be yellow. In the artwork, never use the pure colors. All your colors, especially with acrylic, you need to mix them. So if you mix them with white, you're gonna see your palette is gonna look nice. Because those one we do the palette. Yes, yes, yeah, the palette yeah, the mixer palette and your palette in yeah, inside. Because this one's a effect with your mixer. And you mix everything here yeah, nice and they also you know, nice yeah. Drawing from today, anything you're gonna do is not gonna look the same if you use it lighting colors before you use a song. So now we go for yellow and white, but white is gonna be a lot of white, a little bit yellow. Like this one, I take my yellow, use a medium medium brush, I use my medium brush and white. And I come outside, I mix them. But I don't mix, mix, mix them. I just, just don't mix, mix, mix them like a proper mix, mixing. You just do it, you see that one. So you don't want it all the way through. You don't want the same color. You just want it to kind of be yeah, it's kind of yellow and mud. Yellow and muddled. Noir, medium, muddled. Okay. Yeah. You muddy water. You <laughs> like muddy water too much. Now, muddy water is a musician. All the water. See the place I put my sun. So the sun is depend on the pictures they saw. Like here to my <laughs> like my this work. Short. In this work, if you see, sorry guys, can you see here. Yeah? I want to show you that something quick, quick. And you see Maybe here. Just put it flat on the oh, on flat the table. Oh. Oh. You see here, yeah, it's too lighting here on top. There we go. So when it's lighting here on top, so the, the sun is gonna be the place is too light. Yeah. So where's the lightest in your painting? That's yes. where you're going on to On top to the giraffe, uh, giraffe mm -hmm. close to it. You see, yeah, you're going to put this lighting here because it's there, that place is lighting. Okay. Yeah. So put your work sun. also check where's most of lighting mm -hmm. and you're going to put your sun that place. Mine. I choose to put it down here. Mm -hmm. And with the brush, the same brush, same color, try to create the cloud. See, when you do your cloud, I will show you something here with the shading. Don't. Your cloud, how are you going to do? You see the way I do this one. You go this. Can see. Let me use yeah. Take this one and uh, shading under. Nice. So the sun. Let's see here. Uh, you put your brush must be wet again, very wet, because you're not gonna use a lot of color to do those those sky, those cloud, and it's starting down here by the sun. See and coming up, you can see in the pictures how the cloud is going. Mm -hmm. So we're using a very light yellow. Very light yellow. Close to the, like around our sun and we're gonna yeah. make some clouds. Cloud, yes.
And between the tree also, if your tree is dark, between the branch mm -hmm. of the tree is, is dark, use the same yellow to make it light because the back of the tree, there's a sun there side, you see. You see like me here now, starting here is dark, I put those yellow. Put this yellow here, I lighten inside. I lighten now, you can see this tree, you see my trees look nice now, it look proper. Yeah, it's easy guys, easy. Play with that light yellow. Play with everywhere. I'm gonna show me your work. Your work is gonna look beautiful more than now. Mm -hmm. Let's go, guys. And this guy also don't put it everywhere. You come up here by the blue, by the blue is. Just check. So where you're gonna put, put your weight, your colors must, your brush must be weight. And coming on top here, do another sky. Another cloud, you mean? The cloud, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold the cloud everywhere. Nice cloud on top here. See now my work starting to look like the same one there in the tutorial. See? And come in the tree, in the tree also you need to put some lighting, but those lighting gonna put in the tree, yellow must be a lot. Not must be gold yellow, close to gold yellow, not gold yellow, but close to gold yellow, not lighting yellow, but a little bit. And yeah, don't put it everywhere. Just put in the place. You know it's gonna be a bit of the sun to come in. Put it on top here. I put it under here. Because there's dark down and on top must be white. And then uh, white again here, yeah? dark down on top is white. So the reflect you can see the tree between the branch is a wall. Those wall will reflect the background. So on the background, just use those colors. Why? Those yellow. See, make it to show you, show people in the far. You see, you can see my pictures now. Show you guys between the back there, there's something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least do something else. And when you're done, to do that effect on top, to blend again, put a little bit yellow. And you come in the lane now. But the lane, what you're gonna do in the lane? Starting to do the effect again in the lane. The same thing you do it on top there by the by the cloud, you're gonna do it also in the lane. That lights yellow, and you must choose which way you're gonna put it. See, my sun is here, so meaning in front of the sun is gonna be some light there. You go zigzag, zigzag, go left, right, left, right. Use your flat brush. So the flat brush can put it nice. Flat brush. Right. And left, right and left, 
if right. Between the zero, yeah. Just writing the flow. I'm writing the flow. But yeah, you can't put yeah because the giraffe is here. Yeah. The sun is behind him, so it's gonna be a shading of giraffe here. Yeah. Leave it like that. So yeah. Can I see you all, guys? Give us a shot, guys. Show us what yeah. you're working with. Did yeah, Joel yeah. take a quiz? My son is also painting. Oh, yeah. oh it's starting now. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Maralise. Maralise, please, in your tree, try to yes. put those light in the background. That yellow okay. mixed with white, yeah, to okay. make it wall in the tree. You see the tree always has a wall in the background. Okay, we'll do that. Make it white. Okay. You see, you must, you, you guys need to look, uh, follow the example. Mm -hmm. This one, the way I saw, I do here. You see, my tree is not that dark uh, in, inside. I put those white. So we're going to put just a little bit the in the middle of the... And uh, between the branch also, those branch, and you lighting. See, when you lighting like that, the branch is mm -hmm. very emotional. Mm -hmm. This is this one is a detailed one we do now. It's the last uh, step in the combustion. We do white to create a medium yellow, not too light, not too dark. Yeah. Light in the middle. Yeah. Add the sun between the tree and the tree. Uh, yeah, no, I just read the book <laughs> and no worry. I was no about worry. to say we have sun. Because yeah. we're writing like that, but when you do your background, mm. you're lighting this uh, in another place, so we need to move your sun. Ah. No worry about it. Yeah. In the future, you need to act, always you need to create. You can follow rules somewhere, but create your own rules also, because everyone has his own skills. Yeah. Mm. Be great. Well, my skill is definitely not painting a giraffe. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really <laughs> my giraffe is very, very sad. <laughs> Joel's trying not to laugh at me, but he's not doing very well. <laughs> no, you, 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 you're doing well. Like you like. <laughs> Yeah. So how's everyone doing, guys? How, how are we feeling? Have we all got our lighting in? Have we got our shading in? Have we got our giraffe or camel or <laughs> whatever you managed to paint? What's the next step, Joel? Where do we go from here? This was the last step. That's it? Yeah. Are you telling us we're finished? Yes. Ha! Would you look at that? 
but in the theory, artwork never finishes. <laughs> in the real artwork never finishes. Never finishes. So I know, guys, you're still gonna continue <laughs> to add more stuff because still now all of them is busy. You understand? Mm -hmm. yes. So bring your own skills now to make it beautiful. Very beautiful. I know I'm gonna see the pictures also on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't forget to tag me. Tag the company. So I'm gonna go there to check, look. Yeah, and guys, don't forget to post your pictures so Joel can see all of them. Tag us, tag paint and sip. Um, you can tag Joel as well. Um mm. Steve will put his um <laughs> Yeah, so. His handle uh, is the bar now. So if you do want to go check out his Instagram page and you want to tag him so you can see all your work. Joel Premier Mamboka. Yeah. <laughs> Joel first. <laughs> Joel first. All right, guys, how are we feeling? Is everyone finished with their artwork? Sort of. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> guys, let's get all our paintings up. Let's see. Let's see all our beautiful African skies. Oh, it's looking lovely. Amazing. Oh, Oops. There we go. Just bring it up. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Amazing, guys. Yeah. It's cool. It's incredible how different yet similar mm -hmm. they all are. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, I like it. And where is Maureen? We're looking for Maureen. Where's her painting? She's not online. <laughs> All right, guys, hold up your artworks. We're going to take a photo. So everyone hold up your artwork and smile first. Joel, hold yours up for us. All okay, right. One, two. One, two, three. three. There we go. Fantastic. On behalf of all of us, we want to say, Joel, thank you so, so much for today, for sharing your story, for sharing your insights, for teaching us how to blend and work with colors mm -hmm. and showing us how to make our own palettes mm -hmm. um, and teaching us about impressionism. It's been amazing, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Joel. You've been amazing. Thank you very much. Thank everyone. you. Thank you.